Tonight's video is in your Unit 1B packet expressions and equation. And I'm right on the inside cover there on page one. You can see that it's the problem of the day, interpreting a direct proportion. Hopefully you remember this idea of y equals kx or y over x equals k. So that very important formula from last year where k is the constant value, then y is said to be directly proportional to x. The constant value k in a direct proportion is called the constant of proportionality. And the graph of a direct proportion is always a line through the origin, 0, 0, but does not lie along the horizontal or vertical axis. The constant of proportionality in a direct proportion often represents a unit rate. So it's words per minute, or miles per gallon, or cents per pound. In general, you can use the point 1 comma y on a direct proportional graph to find the constant of proportionality. So when um, x equals 1, what is the y value? When x equals 1, that's the constant of proportionality. You can use the unit rate to write a direct proportion in the equation y equals kx. This graph shows that y is directly proportional to x. It's a straight line that graphs through the origin. The line passes through the point 1, 2. The unit rate is 2. So the equation of this direct proportion is y equals 2 times x. And you can see that. When x is 2, y is 4. When x is 3, y is 6. When x is 4, y is 8. So yes, y is equal to twice the x value. It's going up 2 every time x is going over 1. So I would like you, now that I did that little review from 7th grade math last year, to tell whether each table or graph or equation represents a direct proportion, yes or no, and if so, find the constant of proportionality, y over x equals k. Then write the, uh, the direct proportion. So first thing, yes or no. Second thing, find the constant of proportionality. Third thing, write the equation. So make sure by pointing that out, that you do all three parts. Read directions carefully. So on to page two. Solving for y in terms of x. Hey, we already did this. This is called literal equations. Yes, it is an algebra topic. It's called literal equations because it's uh, all in a general formula. We don't know what the variables all represent. So the goal is... Get y all by itself, and everything else is on the other side of the equal sign. So we practiced one of these a couple pages ago in our Unit 1A packet. To get y all by itself, what has something added to it? That could be not 3x, it could be 30. So 3x plus 2y equals 3. It could be 30 plus 2 times y equals 3. Okay, well, what would I do? I would subtract that 30. So yes, whatever's added to my y, I'm always going to add or subtract first using the inverse of the order of operations. So I subtract three x's and I get, well, two y is equal to, well, these are not like things, so I cannot combine them. Three minus three x. Well, I can divide by two, which means I can divide by two over here as well, and I get y is equal to three minus three x, or three x minus three, I like to have the variable term first, all over two, but I could simplify this and write it as y equals 3x over 2 minus 3 halves. I can split that fraction apart. They have the common denominator of 2. So y equals uh, negative, oh, that's negative 3. Ooh, negative 3x and plus 3. This is a positive 3 and a negative 3x. Let's clarify that. Ooh, good thing I looked that over. So y equals negative 3x plus 3 all over 2, or split it into the two uh, fractional parts that it is, negative 3x or negative 3 halves x plus 3 halves. Number two, 1 half x plus y equals negative 3. Well, this one's pretty easy. I just got to move that 1 half x over. So subtracting 
one half x on both sides. And good algebra form is to have our algebraic coefficient term first. So I'm going to leave that negative one half x first and my constant of negative three second. So there's y all by itself. I don't have to divide by anything. Number three. 4x plus half of y equals 3. Okay, I'm always going to add or subtract first. So I'm going to subtract 4x's from both sides. Then I get 1 half y equals, I'm going to put that algebra term first. That's best form, having our algebraic term first, and then our constant second, plus 3. So negative 4x plus 3, not like, can't put those together. And now to get not half of y, but just y, I'm going to multiply by 2, which means I also have to multiply, this is a quantity, everything on the right side of the equation by 2. So it looks like backwards distributive property. It's just the distributive property. So I get y equals 2 times negative 4x, which is negative 8x, and 2 times positive 3 is positive 6. So y would equal negative 8x plus 6. Solving for y in terms of an x. So there's an x term in the answer. y is all by itself. Oh, number four, so simple. Just subtracting x from both sides should do. And I get y equals negative x plus 32. And last one here. Ooh, I'd have to distribute that too first. Or I could divide both sides by 2 and each term by 2. No, I think I'll distribute that too. You could try. If you want to challenge, show me that you took the challenge and tried it this way. Ooh, that would be a good challenge say. Try it. See if you can get, I'll give you a bonus point if you figure out how to do it that way. So, 2 times x, 2x. 2 times neg negative y, negative 2y, equals negative x plus 10. Well, I'm not going to, you know, move the smaller variable here. I want everything away from my y, so I'm going to subtract 2x's from both sides, and I get negative 2y equals negative 3x's plus 10. And now I'm going to divide by negative 2. And I get y, because I don't want negative y, I want y. Solve for y. It doesn't say solve for negative y. Negative 3 halves x, or, oh, negative 3 and negative 2 makes it a positive 3 halves x. And I can put the x after the 3 halves, or I can put the x up here in the numerator. Don't put it twice, though, like that. So um, I like it after the fraction. It doesn't matter if it's in the numerator or just after the fraction. 3 halves x minus 10 divided by negative 2, minus 5. So 3 halves x, negative 5. And that's it for today's video.